So there's just enormous amount of applications for this and whether it's digitizing securities, moving securities, fragmenting securities, um, it just has enormous use. So I am very, very bullish on what it's gonna do to the industry and this goes back to where we started, how you know, the SEC, the CFTC, the Fed, they're gonna have to understand that this is gonna happen with or without you and it's better off to happen with you. Okay, a couple things. All, all that is accurate. Let me just give a, a different, slight, slightly different perspective on it. Let's talk first about digital currencies and let's, and let's talk about crypto stuff. Digital currencies today, well, roughly 92% of all currencies in the world is digitized. Are you, you're talking about fiat versus crypto? I'm coming, I'm just currency. All right, so break them up though. So, yeah, so look, I totally believe in digital fiat. Yeah, that's so right. digital dollars, digital yen, that's, digital that, euros. I don't, I don't, those aren't crypto to me. That's those, right. That's just, digital fiat. So just, I, I just want everyone to understand yeah. that we're probably in more agreement. No, this. not okay. agreement. I'm just saying, okay. I'm just making, I'm, I'm sort of dividing these two things apart, Fine. just like you just did. So the first thing you have to understand is that moving to a digital currency is a very straightforward thing yep. to do. Uh, so people call them, people call them, and the, the two things can interact, of course. Some people call them stable coins, some people call them, you know, the Chinese are working on their own. Taking that thing on paper and turning it into a digitized thing is a very straightforward thing to do, uh, and it's only, and today, the vast majority of money in the world is already digital because it's just electronic entries in banks and central banks. Yep. So the notion that it's some big revolutionary thing, mm -hmm. well, I can take 8%. By the way, Ken Rogoff's book, The End of Cash, says that you, the 80%, 80 to 90% of US $100 bills are or, used in organized crime and tax evasion. By the, so the, the thing that's most useful to the bad guys is cash. It's the ultimate sort of uh, you know, anonymized security. But anyway, so that's a straightforward, easy thing to do. It should be done and kind of, we just gotta get, get, get there. Agree. Right, that's, the, that's, that's easy. Amen. Uh, now, if you talk about the whole crypto kind of world, um, we, we, uh, I, got, I got to this from the kind of the payments thing because I've been looking for a way in which we could take the cost of payments down by 99% the way we've taken down the cost of trading and securities. In the payments world, uh, we use the, the term, the, uh, we often use the term of the payments rails. There's the credit card rails, there's checking rails, there's the Fed wire rails. So let's take, the, to understand how to, I think to think about the cryptocurrency world um, is there are three parts of it, the blockchain, the, um, coin, the, the token and the protocol. Uh, and the three of them operate together to create one solution, one integrated solution that has the capacity to, to revolutionize the way we move things of value around the world. Let me, let me use a railroad analogy to make the point. Um, the, 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 the token is the equivalent of the boxcar. It's the thing into which you embed something of digital value that needs to be moved from one place to another, from one part of a blockchain to another. The blockchain is the cargo invoice, is the invoice in the cargo manifest. And the rails is the protocol. Uh, and you have to think about all three as one integrated solution that enables you to accomplish the, the purpose of moving anything of value around the world at the speed of light at no cost, the way we, we, we uh, talk about email today. People who just talk about blockchain are talking about something very interesting, uh, but it's a piece of enterprise technology that's an advanced database and a private blockchain unconnected to the global, uh, to the, to the uh, Bitcoin or another digital currency blockchain is the equivalent of the intranet. Mm -hmm. Remember when we had intranets to begin with where it was really cool, you could do um, internal communication with people in your own companies. You know, but, but it wasn't really until those intranets were connected via the internet protocol to other intranets to create the world wide web of intranets called the internet that the world changed. The world is gonna change in finance when we connect the private blockchains via the Bitcoin or Ethereum or other protocol um, to the other blockchains in the world have a global blockchain that's the World Wide Web of blockchains that'll fundamentally change the way in which not only do we move value around the world at the speed of light, but also in which we actually fundamentally change the way in which we compute because it's the fourth computing paradigm I've experienced in my lifetime, the decentralized computing paradigm. That is the vision of where we can really go with this that's transformational. Now, the first step will be the intranets, mm -hmm. the blockchains, as those get deployed. But that's not the end point, that's just a first step. And go into all that stuff in greater length if you'd like me to. But that's a beginning. No, I, uh, look, it, I mean, 
transformative. I want to go back to something we, we talked about uh, around monetary policy, which is if this happens, which I think it's, I say if, I think you're saying when, um, I get it. Uh, you have how, a little bit more to do with the if than we do, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> and, and, and look, Jay, my, my view is, is, is it, 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 it's happening. Yeah. Right. What is the U.S.'s role? Right. Yeah. Well, that's where yeah. I'm, right. that, I, I'm going to I'm going to go Good further point. because do my right hand. Yes, you're yes. right. Yes, because we're both involved in companies that are doing it. Mm -hmm. We'd like to do it here, yeah. but we're going to do it. Well, 